Well, to politics south of the border now, where suspense is building over who the presumptive Democratic presidential nominee Joe Biden will choose to be his running mate. Biden has committed to picking a woman, and several names are still in contention. If elected, Biden would be the oldest sitting president in U.S. history, so his choice for second in command is garnering a lot of attention. Jennifer Johnson reports. Joe Biden relaxing on the Delaware shore, but behind the scenes, the presumptive Democratic presidential nominee is expected to make a critical decision this week, choosing his running mate. Welcome, Mr. Thanks, Mr. Vice President. A new name is in the mix, Michigan Governor Gretchen Whitmer, who Biden met for several hours last weekend. You've got a nominee who's trying to vet a running mate as carefully as possible to make sure that there are no surprises. And at the same time, you've got a nominee who wants to make an announcement that catches everyone by surprise. During the Democratic campaign, Biden pledged to put a woman on the ticket, making his VP selection one of the most important in U.S. history. I commit that I will, in fact, appoint a, I'll pick a woman to be vice president. Other big names in the running? Probably no more than I do. <laughs> Senators Kamala Harris, Elizabeth Warren, and Tammy Duckworth, an Iraq War veteran. Congresswoman Val Demings, a former Orlando police chief, and former national security advisor Susan Rice. I can't talk about uh, the process as it stands. I want to respect the vice president and his ability uh, to pick the, the person that he deems best. Republicans have hammered rice over the 2012 Benghazi attack, which left four Americans dead, and her multi-million dollar investments. You're out of order. Harris has been criticized for being too tough. Some experts denounce the double standards. They're too ambitious. Uh, they are too engaged in national politics. They are too willing to attack. And my personal favorite, they have a propensity for cursing. Since when have any of those attributes ever been held against male candidates? Biden's wife is standing by her guy, whoever he chooses. It's got to be Joe's decision, who he feels most comfortable with, who shares his values. Jill Biden says she wants her husband to have the same strong relationship with his vice president as Biden had with President Barack Obama. Whoever he chooses, if elected, she will be America's first female vice president. Jennifer Johnson, Global News, Washington.